Hi, I'm the Weird weird Christian, and I'm going to be talking about uh, the little things, the little things that we need to know and do. Every day is a blessing. We only need to recognize the events happening around us. Around us, We think the common every day is simple, and we take everything for granted. What moves us and gives us passion? We marvel at the complexity of the material world, but there is more to living than substance. Though we know many things, no one knows what life is or what is spirit. We deny the spirit which gives us life. Therefore, we are lost, disconnected. Wake up. Know the spirit which connects us. Open your eyes to the love that cares. Every connection is a great event and precious. Look, you will see the spirit that connects us in love. The little things that are more, that these are important and God cares for the small. Your treasure needs to be those around you. Care for them. This is the way of the kingdom. Those around you are treasures that are eternal. This is the way of God. He looks to help bring people together in lasting, loving relationships. Relationships of commitment and thankfulness. Out of Matthew, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life what you eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear, is not life more than food, the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field, they do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagan, pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough of its own trouble. I have a Christian friend who is always giving and being moved by the Spirit, but she was having a hard day. Passion moves her, wanting to see great things done for God's glory. She loads the work for God upon his shoulders. Doing her work for God and working two jobs to keep her family from want. Sometimes it seems that all things are against us. It is no different for her. Having her burdens, more are added. Her husband got dementia and became another challenge. Finally, her feet and her health broke under the load. Now she cannot work because of a severe perennial tendonitis rupture. I might have got that wrong. Why, Lord, why is life so hard? Instead of doing the big things, we need to do be in the little things. Now she had to rest. She had to wait for the Lord. And in every day she wonders what God will do she, so she can make it through. So every day she wonders. And for all her struggles, God gives her hope and what she needs to meet the day. 
though her feet slowed her down and she cannot work a job, every day her passion for others calls her out to help her neighbor. She lives in Canada, and Canada has long, cold winters. The story, this, the story of this winter is cold. But my friend loves to bring good food to warm the hearts of those in need. And she is a great cook. This day that the Lord made her desire to make a dish with tomatoes, but she had none. She pines to cook that dish. In God's kingdom, she dreams to be the cook, slicing, dicing, stewing, frying, baking the menu at the Lord's table. But sadness is upon her heart. Lord, let it be here on earth as it is in heaven, she cries. In her anxiety, she starts to talk to God. And does she talk? She is crying and praising and singing to God, passion and praise. The incense rises to the clouds of heaven. She smells the fragrance. God smells the fragrance. It is good, like fresh baked, baked bread out of the oven. Finally, she quiets her soul and asks humbly, knowing her God listens. God wants her to know he is with her in everything and she leaves it up to him. She knows her request of tomatoes is only a little thing, but it sure would be nice. And from her kitchen window, she sees a neighbor outside smoking. He sees her also, and he waves. So, my friend, she opens her door to say hello. They talk for a moment. He asks her, does she need any tomatoes for her cooking? He bought way too much. It does not want them to go bad. Yes, thank you, she smiles, and has a little laugh to the sky. Thank you, thank you, thank you, she shouts in her heart. My God lives and cares. It is the little things. My friend, she had a little visit getting these, these tomatoes, and she cooked up her dish, bringing some back to enjoy with her neighbor. She did not know that that would be the last day she would see him. A few days later, he had a stroke. Then he was in the hospital and passed. No one knows what life holds for us. Every day is a blessing. A time to know another and to see little things of the day as a chance to experience each moment, each moment of life we are given to be with others. Sometimes it is a stranger or a neighbor or one you dearly love. Do not take life for granted. And that is the story I wanted to share. Do not take life for granted. And know that God is with you. There is a God who cares, who is with you. And he will give you hope to go through all the trials in life. Just as my friend, she has lots of trials, but God gets her through every day. And she's a wonderful person to be with because of that. Because she always is, has a joy in her heart, even though she has all these trials. And life is hard, but God can carry us through. That's the message I want to leave with you. May you have peace.